You pick which one you want. Okay, take a minute to look it over. Which one? The first one. Okay. Okay, who needs more time? I got your copy. Okay. Okay, so in this dream, I know there's something that I'm trying to do for myself, but I don't know what it is. I'm at a house and another part of the dream at a school. There's some kind of parking and reparking deal outside of the house, which involved me making a decision to repark. Details are unclear. When I'm in the house, I'm in the house a couple of different times. And the first time involves me dressing and undre undressing and dressing. I wish I could be clear about the details, but I'm not. But it was underwear. It was underwear anyway. And sometimes, and something gets in the way of a plan I have regarding the dressing, and I don't know. There's an anxiety. I know there's an anxiety there, and I think it was outside as well regarding the parking. And it seems like Jeff Lowe's brother is in the dream, like it's their house but it's not their house in real life, and his, his interests are present, 
like he's pursuing them and I'm aware of them. And then at the school, there's other people's concerns present there as well. And it seems like my brother's there and he's part of a ceremony or a dinner, like a long table he's seated at. It, and I observe him. And there's a little girl in the dream. I don't know if she's at the school, but she ends up being back at Scott's house and I'm back there. She's really cute, beautiful. And there's some issue about taking care of her. Yeah. But again, the details are so unclear. Like I'm interested in taking care of her or interested in what's going on with her and so is Scott. But it's unclear what needs to be done to do that. There's some role for a bathroom in this part of the dream and I don't know what role it's playing. That's it. What would you say is going on? There's aimlessness in the dream. There's a lack of a goal. Or I, I discover one later with the girl, but it's still not quite clear. <clears throat> and there's a concern with other people's interests. Yeah. Um, something gets in the way of a plan I have regarding addressing anxiety. I don't know. Seems like a problem dream. Well, I'll see. <clears throat> uh, anyone want to jump in? I'll jump in. I'll say it's a between a wisdom and ignorance type of dream. Too. <laughs> you're quite right in what you said. Especially with the little girl part. No. No? Okay. How so? You put your finger on it. Do you remember what you said? The third point you made? Oh, okay. You picked up one theme under the word present, didn't you? Other people's interests are present. Yeah. Uh -huh. What do you notice about everyone mentioned in the dream? They're present. Yeah, what about them? What else would you say? I don't know. They're doing. They're doing things. They're yeah. What kind of things? Um, in terms of the dream. I don't know what Jeff Lowe's brothers, well, Scott, is pursuing. See, so you use the word present in a very interesting way. His interests are present. Their interests is present. Mm-hmm. Right. Their interest is yeah, present. Yeah. Yeah, because I distinctly remember in the dream being yeah. coming aware of his of, their of his having interests and yeah, it's their being interest. about them. Yeah, yeah, it's their interest. Yeah, yeah, right, right. They're doing their thing. Yeah, it's not like I had a conversation with him about no, it or anything, but it was it. there. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I saw it. <clears throat> the same thing with my brother too. Yeah, I saw him. Yeah, he's doing something. Right. I don't go over to him. Good. But he's clearly involved. Thank you. Where's the conflict? Uh, during the the dressing and undressing part. The first sentence. Right. What? Read it for a sentence. In this dream, I know there's something I'm trying to do for myself, but I don't know what it is. There it is. Everyone else is doing what? That you see. They're present, enjoying. Finish it. What's important to them? Mm -hmm. How about you? Look at the first sentence. The word myself. Really? There's something 
I know there's something that I'm trying to do for myself, but yeah, I don't know yourself. what it is. Yeah. Not for anyone else, but I don't know what it is. But you're seeing other people. Do. Yeah. Hmm. What's that like? The first sentence. I want to hear something myself, but I don't know what to hunt on. What's, what's that in my mind? Hmm. Because you're seeing other people in, in it, right? Clearly, you see other people in it. What's that do to you? In the dream. I'm puzzled. I feel puzzled. Yeah, what kind? It's like what? Wondering. Wondering more. Come on. Um, Puzzle, I don't wondering. Know what it is. What does it hit you? What am I trying to do for myself? Where's it hit me? I don't know. Huh? It's everywhere. Yeah, like. Everywhere. Pervasive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. What, what, uh, find that curious? Pervasive, right? That's pervasive film. Yeah. <laughs> does, does that remind you of anything in your life? A feeling so? Do you recognize it somewhere in your life, or today, or yesterday, or all the time, or what? I, I do all the time. I don't know. Um, I've been I've been spending a lot of time in Plato's Gorgias recently, and making notes on it, and collecting notes, and what's it like? When do you experience well, that state? I mean, huh? while I'm doing that, I experience while you're, that. Is yeah. right? While you're doing it, you're wondering what? Well, I'll, I always want to do something more. Ah, thank you. More. Say more. Well, I'm just not satisfied with how I'm studying it. Or the, the place at which I've arrived so far is not enough. And you don't know what to do to fill it in. Is that right? Yeah, I that's know. true. I don't know to, all yeah. right? Here I am doing all this, and I always want to do more. And what I'm doing isn't enough. You recognize that state? Yeah, I wonder about that, too, though. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I have that state, and I wonder about whether or not it's appropriate. Yeah. Judgment. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, where does it go in your life? Where does it go? Yeah. I ended my university experience in that state. I had that, I had that experience in relation to several papers that I was trying to write back then. And back when you were at the schools? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, ever had it before that? <clears throat> ever experienced it at home? Is that someone talking? I mean, it reminds me of criticism I got from my mother when I was in fourth grade. Oh, at fourth grade. That's a great, great age, fourth grade. What happened? Well, there was like a parent-teacher conference uh -huh. dealio, and it was like an Ingmar pile-on session is what it 
turned out being. What did you see at that? And that? What did you see? Well, I hate. I mean, first of all, I hated being there. My mom was criticizing me, putting the burden of whatever had gone wrong upon me, mm. <clears throat> and talking with the teacher about it, and yeah. trying to enlist the teacher in a let's get Ingmar to promise to do better in the future yeah. type of. Yeah. Uh, oh, just to get out of that situation, I was like, oh, yeah, 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 <laughs> promise, yes, <laughs> whatever you want. <laughs> if you could do it over now, what would you tell her? How come you don't care at home, but you care that you're, you got something to say about it right now? <laughs> what does that mean, that she's doing? Well, she's allowing a certain type of lack of success to be the way things are and then blaming me for it. Yeah. That had a hell of an impact on it. <clears throat> so you have to answer it. Like we were just doing. You have to say, what is that? What is, it? What is she doing? What role is she playing? Does it show care? What is it? What is she doing? Could you put a name on her, what she's doing at that time? Well, it's unjust. She's being unjust. Yeah, but see, you're absolutely right, but it would be better if you, if, if you could say that kind of person is a... See, that's putting a name on it. Can you characterize it in any way? what she's doing? She's a con. That's good. Right there. That's what she's doing. She's trying to con who? The teacher. Mm -hmm. To get her to do what with you? What is she setting up? If it was successful, I don't know whether it was successful or not. So yes, it is unjust. But if it's a con, <coughs> anything more you can add? If you were to... to uh, Sketch out a comic strip. Uh, how would she look? How would you paint her at that moment? What role? How would she look? What would she wear? I, I think I'd paint her with big eyes. Go ahead. And a kind of hysterical lines. No. Yeah. You She's hysterical. It. What kind of person is that? Put it all together. Right? See, we're not, we're not free until we can put a name. We have to put a name on what people are doing to us. Have to put a name on it. It's not enough that they do what they do. You have to say, at that moment, she's like a... And if I were to live it over again, I would have said... Go ahead. So we're going to work on this together, Mom, right? Good. <laughs> Good. <laughs> That's good. What are you saying then? It's not just me that needs a promise here. Good. So, whenever you're in this state, you see, when you're in this state, you have to remember this. Yeah, because you know, back then, I remember that there, were, there was always a time during those grades when I would try at the beginning of the semester and experience some success and then it would fade. Oh. 
And I remember experiencing disappointment even back then about not sustaining. Oh, you mean uh, she convinced you? Well, yeah, or I just she, you found never out. never learned how to do that. Yeah, but you, you found out what wakes her up. She became alive, mm. one-pointed, verbal, right? Is that rare? Yes. See, that's a high point then in her life, right? It's a high point. Rare. Come on. So we, we make a conclusion from that. Yeah, I mean, you really got to sympathize with teachers. I mean, because at that point, the teacher could say something to that's her. That's right. Right? I mean, that's right. Should have. But then what's going to happen if she does? Right? No, no, but they should have. Pardon? I've been at plenty of parent-teacher meetings where the parent is just trying to dump on the kid, and you learn to see that one pretty fast. See, like, every problem has its origin and injustice. That's why we're bugged. That's why we're upset. That's why we feel terrible whenever we feel it. Even this is, we've been treated unjustly. It's not anxiety. Well, especially because... It's anger. We're pissed off. Well, what's the function well, I, of... Excuse me, I should say we're urinated off. <laughs> <laughs> what's the function of the parent-teacher meeting, Ingmar? What's the goal of the meeting? To remediate my lack of effort, I guess. I don't, I don't understand what that means. I'm just saying to... Did it work? No. No. But rather, you mirrored her view. If that's what gets her to, to wake up, you're doing her a favor. We always do that. Whatever we find wakes them up, we do that to wake them up. Is this connected with hope? Hmm? Is this connected with hope? Well, yeah. Talk about hope. Well, it, just the general dynamic here was that I would promise I promise to do better mm -hmm. never happens though yeah. it never happens right. Right. so I live with hope unfulfilled hope always hope is the reunion <coughs> of mankind because that's what ten-year-olds do yeah. ten-year-olds keep hope on their mind that they'll do better and keep to their promises and yeah. think every day about What's going to improve them in school? Yeah. That's what my 10-year-old does. Good. No. 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 <laughs> All right. Thank you. My pleasure. Okay. Now it's time for a cup of coffee.